everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So this is a lot different to what I normally film. Um, however, this, my last pack with me had my best views as of yet. So I thought I would pack, I thought I would show you what I'm gonna be packing for four weeks in Asia. Um, so I'm going to be going to Malaysia, then to Sumatra and then to Thailand. Um, I have been to Asia before, Malaysia and Sumatra are two new places, um, but the rest of my Asia videos are down below along with my Australia ones and all my Europe backpacking trips, so if you want to check them out and you are into travel, please, you know, do check them out. Um, if travel is your thing um, and you like to see normal people do travelling rather than just influencers, then my channel is definitely for you, so please like and subscribe, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, just to know that I'm reaching people, you know, and, and people are enjoying my content. Right, so we're just going to get straight into it. Firstly, your girl's got a new backpack for the trip. So, we have got the Osprey Fairview, Fairpoint. One of them's for men, one of them's for women. So this is the women's one. It's in the navy blue colour. It has, it opens up like a suitcase. It has the big pocket here. It has a mesh pocket here. It has quite a large pocket at the front, and it also has a little zipper pocket up here. Um, I got this in the sale just before Christmas. I think I paid 110 for it, but it is normally a lot more expensive. Osprey, I've always travelled with an Osprey backpack, and they are my favourite. This one also has the backpack straps zipped up because this is actually cabin size. So for the first time ever, I am travelling hand luggage only, which is exciting and kind of scary. I've got my little Australia luggage tag in here and I'm just going to show you everything that I'd like to bring and then I'm going to show you me trying to squeeze it all in the backpack. So let's get into the clothes. I've got these two packing cubes from, these are compression packing cubes from Flying Tiger. They say compress to impress. Um, and in this first one, you can actually pack these both sides, but it was just far too bulky. Um, so I kept it as one side. In this one, I have my hat one of my hats, I'm wearing another on the plane so it won't be in this video. I have my True Travels bucket <laughs> My True Travels bucket hat, repping the True Travels of course, um, because in Sumatra I am joining a True Tour which I'm very excited about, I love True um, and I love the, the tours that they have. Then in this packing cube I've also got like just a shawl from Thailand just to cover over my shoulders I have also got this pair of shorts, which if you've definitely watched the videos from last year's backpack, you know I lived in these because they are so easy, they're cotton, so they're lovely to wear um, and they don't always look terrible creased, so for backpacking, brilliant. I've got this beach dress that I bought in Koh Samui actually, I bought this in Koh Samui, just a flowy beachy dress to throw on over a bikini. I've then got these shorts which are actually from Bershka but I bought them in TK Maxx to so just about like a bright coloured short. Um, I've got this cord from Australia so it's a shirt and short. It is absolutely beautiful and I love it. Um, I've got this skirt which I got in Bali. It's just a green like boho kind of long skirt which is good for temples and good if you want to be a bit more covered up i've then got my i'm not even going to unroll these they are long beach trousers from thailand and they are my favorite things ever they you have to put them on kind of weird you like sort of tie them up through your legs um and then i've also got this pair of trousers from sheen um they are just pinstripe um, with some embroidered flower detail I thought these would look absolutely gorgeous I've pictured them standing outside the Batu Caves so if you see this picture on Instagram you know the thought was already there um, and I thought they're really easy for the temples really lightweight 
perfect for backpacking and yeah so love them so I'm just going to pop that in the first packing cube I'm not looking forward to editing this video everybody because my edits are normally very quick whereas a packing video not so quick it used to take me so long to edit because I used to have the old MacBook, um, but now I've bought a new MacBook Pro. It's a lot faster, and my edits do not take me long at all. I'm trying to make... I mean, me previously would have taken... so. Oh, I've left a pair of bottoms out. I'm so sorry. I'm also taking this pair of Nike shorts, which again, I lived in when I was backpacking, and... They save my bacon a lot of the times. I absolutely lived in them. I love them. So in here we've got dresses, shorts, trousers, cords. I haven't actually got a play suit. I mean, my thought is I'm probably going to end up buying things out there, aren't I? Because it's me. So that was my thought behind that. I'm going to zip this back up and compress. Compress, compress. Yeah. We might have to get rid of some stuff already. Pops. Um, so I'm just gonna delve right in. Tops and pajamas actually. So I have got this little um top from Cotton On. I bought it when I was in Australia, but it goes with a lot of the outfits that I've packed. I've got this little top from Primark, which again, I lived in. It was so easy to wear. I don't have to wear a bra with it, which again, <laughs> brilliant. I've got this top from Pink Woman, which I actually bought in Greece. Um, so I'm taking that. I've got a white top again from Cotton On, just to throw on like that. Um, I've then got this um, more of a um, 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 this more of a going out top. It's like a halter neck tie up, very thin cotton number. Um, for nights out, stop saying um. Thank you. <laughs> I've got this Roxy long T-shirt because I like. My favourite vibe is. Picture this, this is my, if someone said, what's your ideal in your mind right now? T-shirt, bikini, T-shirt over the top, barefoot, in the sand, watching the sunset, eating snacks. Talk to me! So, long T-shirt, basically. Uh, and Then I've also got my True Travels T-shirt, repping the True again. For pyjamas, I'm taking these little boxer short situations and my Noah Khan t-shirt, actually, for, for a pyjama. So I'm just going to pop all that in there and that is all my tops. That is all my tops. I need to find my Gymshark um, biker shorts. Stop saying um. I need to find my Gymshark biker shorts because they go with the sports bra I'm taking. And if I do any hikes or anything, I'm going to want to wear them. So, And I did wear them quite a lot when I went before. So I definitely want to wear them. So I'm going to go find them in a sec. I've just been through everything I own. So I think I've put them in the wash. Yeah. Which is annoying. They must be somewhere though, because I think I've washed everything. Who knows, honeys? I might actually put a sports bra in here as well. So I've got this sports bra from Gymshark, and then I've also got the matching biker shorts, which will go in there as well. That's that one, all done. Oh, here's my other hat. Sunsets. No, does it? Does it say sunset? It says sunrise. Um, so I'm going to put the sunrise hat in there as well. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that is literally all my clothes that I'm taking. I'm not taking a lot at all. Which is unlike me. Of course she's got a coffee on the go. Hello. Mm. Delicious. We've got a 
a white mocha. Then I'm going to take you on to bikinis, swimwear. This is the swimwear packing cube. Again, this is an Osprey packing, Osprey packing cube. Sorry. In here. Now, before you laugh at me, I do not like things touching my feet in the sea. So your girl's got some sexy seashoes. Got some seashoes. I've got two sarongs with me. This orange one. Beauty. And then I've got the green one, which you've all definitely seen. But I love it. It's this green one. With the matching bikini. And then I bought two orangey bikinis to match the sarong. So I was trying to minimise myself. So I've got this very boho-esque one with a little shell detail. Just a triangle bikini. And then I've got this gorgeous like 70s flower print one. So that is all the swimmer I'm taking actually, which for me, honey. But that's like one a week, isn't it? So I am obviously going to do washing when I'm there, gosh. But um, I just wanted to, yeah. I've got more than enough. I know I have. Because every time I go backpacking, I overpack. And I'm just not doing it anymore. I mean, even this is for, for some people, this is overpacking. But to me, it's very, it's a lot less than what I would normally take, basically. And that all just fits in that little packing cube. I haven't tried to fit all this in the bag yet, so we could actually be taking stuff out. I don't really want to take anything out because I've already <laughs> sacrificed a lot. Like, I've pulled out a lot of stuff. When I first took out everything from my wardrobe that I wanted to say, you should have seen my bedroom. Catastrophic. But I know I'm gonna buy stuff there because stuff, the clothes in Thailand are so cheap, it's insane and they're beautiful. They are beautiful, so. Um, okay, underwear. I'm gonna wear a black bra on the plane. So I'm taking one black strapped bra, I'm taking one white strapped less bra, and I'm taking a sports bra. I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of pants, and three pairs of socks. But again, I'm gonna be doing washing out there and I need to just chill. So my idea is that I'm gonna put the pants and the socks and the bras in the mesh pocket at the front. Um, shoes, I'm gonna take one pair of trainers which I'm gonna wear on the plane, and the next thing is very excessive, but I can't choose between them because I love them both equally. So I'm taking two pairs of Birkenstocks. I am taking... Sorry, Percy was eating something. I'm taking these which have definitely seen better days, but they are so loved. These are my Arizona Evas in white. They have trekked with me. Honey, they've been through the thick of it, these shoes. And although they're dirty, they're not damaged. Um, this gravel here is definitely Aussie gravel, so. Yeah, they are so loved. And if you want a pair of like, if you don't want to buy Tevas or any other trekking sandal, these are great. I've been in waterfalls with these, I've been on hikes with these. I walked from Bondi to Coogee in these. They are fantastic, definitely purchase. And then more of a nicer Birkenstock. I've got my brown, um, the mocha colour Birkenstocks. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe them. So yeah, those are the shoes I'm taking. Um, and then we're gonna get into sort of more miscellaneous objects now. So in here, I've made like my own little first aid kit. Um, we've got Tiger Balm. We've got one of these. These are insane. They are, oh, like menthol. They're from Thailand. They're like menthol, um, canisters basically to sniff. I've got 
bandages, germaline, after bite, nose inhalers, like it, everything you can ever imagine in here. Charcoal tablet. Charcoal tablets are a dream. If you're ever going to Asia and you have a bad stomach, take a charcoal tablet, honey, you're fine. Um, the next thing is my toiletries. This is, again, excessive to some people, but to me, I have severely dragged this down. Like, we are scraping it back. So, this is my wash bag. It's one of the hanging up ones. This is from DKMY, but I got it in TK Maxx for like 4 dollars so. Um, this is what it looks like. In here we've got makeup. Um, in this one I've just got a body wash, a sun cream, two sun creams, a shampoo bar from Lush, a face SPF, and then up here I've got my Estrid razor, spare razor heads, toothbrush, toothpaste. So that is literally all my toiletries. There's makeup brushes in there and everything. Like, I am set. And this is so much smaller than what I took last time. Trust me. Um, and then, stop saying um. I've got this. I've got a pack of cards um, from Singapore. I said um again. I've got a pack of cards from Singapore. I always like to carry cards with me because you never know when you want a game of cards, you know? I have this, which is, this is little things on it. It's a travel jewellery case from Oliver Bonus. In here, I've just got some, like, beady necklaces, a um, couple of sets of earrings. I've got these sort of fun ones. Um, these little fun ones. A little gold hoop. Like, shell bracelets, things like that. Like, jewellery that I'm going to wear when I'm there. So, I've got that in there. I don't, I don't ever take expensive jewellery because there's just no point. I am going to lose it. Um, hair bands. I'm taking a couple of hair bands. This Alice band. And I'm also taking... This time for my trip, I'm also taking a heatless curler because I don't, I don't have any room for my actual curler. This can just fold up. And I've tried this and it was absolutely amazing. So I'm taking that. I'm also taking, obviously, my Tangle Teaser, but that's going to go in my Uniqlo bag. If you would like to see what's in my Uniqlo bag, I'll probably show you on my... Because one of my vlogs is going to be travel with me to Malaysia. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got my rain jacket. I've got a dry bag for when I'm doing boat trips or anything. And I need to put my camera and stuff in here. So I always take a dry bag. And the next thing I'm going to show you, I don't want to hear it. Okay? I don't want to hear it. So all my friends used to laugh at me because obviously my age, they used to laugh and say I'm a grandma. Uh, because I take an iron. Okay? I take a travel iron. I can't deal with creased clothes. And that is so not a backpacker lifestyle because... No one cares. No one actually cares. You could walk around in a bin bag. No one would bat an eyelid. Anyone, everyone's just like footloose, fancy free, loves their life. I just, personally for me, I can't deal with creased clothes and I don't know why. Do I want to leave it? Shall I try and leave it? Yes, but oh, part of me just needs to take it. Just for some security. Um, I need to take it. I'm taking it. Let's go through electricals. Sorry, before I talk you through, before I talk you through my electricals, I just want to show you some snacks and things that I'm bringing. I'm taking four of these kind bars because um, just for emergency snacks. You never know when you're trekking or anything when you need like a quick pick me up. So I've got four of these kind bars. I always have some sort of protein bar or something just in a bag, just in case. You never know. Then I've got three. Starbucks sachets and then a few flavoured teas just again for quickness and for last minute if you need to boil up water for any reason you can't get to clean water 
you boil up some water, stick a tea bag in and honey, you don't... That just made me jump. What? Is that an attempt at a bark, my love? That was Percy's attempt at a bark. <laughs> Teas and coffees. Brilliant. Is she British? Yes. I am taking my charges and things. First of all, so wires for everything. Um, I've also got this multi adapter, Apple Watch charger, phone charger, laptop charger, everything like that will all go in another wallet, which I will get in a second. Apple Watch, but I'm obviously going to be wearing that on the plane. My laptop which again I will need before but I'm gonna put it in the backpack just for the sake of seeing if it's gonna fit and then I also am taking two tote bags again repping the true travels I got this one when I was in um, Vietnam so when you go to the tailors they you get to choose a tote bag so I've got this one from Vietnam and then they actually kindly gifted me some things and one of them was this tote bag which is part of their Central America merch I think um, it's just this one with all the patches so we are absolutely repping true travels I'm not gonna lie we are repping the true so now is the job of trying to fit it all into the backpack right after a couple of fist fights and deciding that I am gonna take a personal bag as well which is my Kankin but we have a bag that is packed so I'm gonna take the straps out and then you roll them up and put them in the bottom here I'm not showing you very well but I'm just gonna do a little test run for you and then on my back it goes. Oh. I haven't adjusted the straps properly, but that is everything I'm taking along with, it's just my laptop, my person stuff in here. And they are my bags for three weeks. So yeah. So if you did like this video, please smash a huge thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And if home and travel content is your thing then please come back next week for more videos um i look forward to you i look forward to taking you on my travels with me and i'll see you in the next one bye guys love y'all